the end of the day, you know, the vegetable. These again, Iceland sweet corn. It says it's super sweet, it usually is. And you know, you get a fair amount in the bag for your pound or you know your dollar, whatever. You. And it's um it's really nice, it's very, very sweet corn. And again, I'm just gonna throw in about six ounces. That basically half fills my crock pot. Right, that's the corn, that's the peas. Now for the gravy. Okay, so the gravy, we've done this before. You know the drill, don't you? Tablespoon. We want two tablespoons of gravy granules. Now I've not got a lot in there, I've got about half a tablespoon left, so I'm just going to throw that in. It doesn't really matter, it's only gravy, you know. It's pennies to buy. You know, it's, um, it's really nice. Now, this time, I'm adding an OXO cube, because I love OXO cubes in my gravy. And it's not really salty, you know, it doesn't make it salty. There's not a lot of salt in this dish at all. And to be quite honest with you, you do need some salt to bring out the flavour of the potatoes. So I'm just adding one to that gravy mix. I'm just going to rinse my hands, put the cupboard in octo. Now to that gravy mix, I'm going to put in a pinch of garlic salt. I'm only doing this because I want the salt for the potatoes. If I use natural salt, along with the salt that's in the OXO cube and the salt that's naturally in the food, um, it's going to over boost you know, the salt content. There's about a teaspoon in there, that's all I'm going to use. And on top of that, I'm going to put in four or five shakes of pepper. Just move this away now. My cat lay in my dining room, sprawled out on one of my chairs. Little monkey, my cat. Right. Seeing as how it is bonfire night, which is the 5th of November, it's going to be one of those nights. Now this morning when I got up, it was pouring down and it was freezing cold. And the first thought in my head was let's have a stew. Now I'm going to put into here around a pint, pint and a half of water. I might just even top it up because that's going to get really thick. And then with my tablespoon, I'm just going to stir it. Because once this is in the slow cooker, you know, you've got a fair amount of gravy there. That's going to cook the potatoes. Um, I will be adding a little touch of water to it later, maybe half a pint. Maybe a bit more, in fact, just let me put the kettle on again. And that way I don't have to worry about it, it's sorted. Right, now my gravy's not gone that thick yet. So I'm going to keep stirring it, because I want all that pepper, I want all that salt and all that oxo cube to mix in with the gravy granules to make this gravy so, what's the word, yum if you like, because at the end of the day, you know, a meal, you've got to taste it really haven't you, and you don't want it overpowering um, with one flavour. So I add salt and pepper to my gravy along with the, the OXO cube 
to bring out the flavour of the meat and the corn and the peas and the potatoes you know and that's all there is to it really I only make a very basic stew I would have thrown an onion in but um, you know normally I, I will throw an onion in but today I just thought nah why bother so I'm making it without it's, it's a long time since I had a stew without one onion you know it's it's been a while because I normally put onions in but I wanted to try something different today so anyway here's my gravy that's not it's quite runny I like it like that because it will thicken once the corned beef gets to the gravy now I don't need to stir this once it's in the crock pot so I'm just going to pour this in now I usually pour it all the way around the outside and then I pour the rest in the middle see the whole lot's gone in there's nothing else in there now now I'm going to grab my spoon I'm going to give it a quick stir. There's plenty of juice in there. I'll show you now. Just give me half a second while I uh, stir this. Right. Here is my stew. There it is. I'm about to put the, the uh, slow cooker on so I'm going to put that down while I do I'm going to turn it on I'm going to put it on high now I'm going to put it on high for around what four hours till about past three I'm putting the lid on that will stay there now till about half past three um, I'm going to then come back I'm going to make part two of this video and part two of this video is going to contain making the dumplings and putting them in to the actual stew and then they're going to be sat there cooking for half an hour three quarters of an hour while um, they actually swell and you know do what dumplings do basically and then later on it'll be tea time so enjoy this video if you like this please come back click like click to subscribe and you won't miss another one of my um, no man's my way view guide with food it's uh, something you'll not see for long <laughs> if, I, <laughs> if I don't get on with it right I'm gone I shall um, catch you in part two. Bye for now.